In case you haven't heard, one of the most popular budgeting apps, Mint, will be shutting down in just a few months, which means there are millions of people reevaluating their budgeting app right now. So today I want to tell you about one of my favorite budgeting apps, Rocket Money, and how it can help you not only take control of your finances, but lower your bills without you having to do anything. Sounds pretty good, right? That sounds great. All right, I first talked about Rocket Money a while back when it was known as Truebill, and I've been using it along with many other budgeting platforms for years. So when Rocket Money reached out to me asking if they could sponsor a video, I jumped on the opportunity, especially given the recent news about Mint. So if you'd like to learn more about Rocket Money, I'll leave a link for that down below the like button. But as always, I wanna give you my honest perspective by covering the core features and then going inside my personal Rocket Money account to show you how this actually works. Right now, Rocket Money offers both a free and premium plan, and while the free plan does come with a decent number of features to get you started and give you a feel for the platform, you will want to upgrade to the premium plan if you want to take full advantage of some of the unique features that we're going to talk about. But the free plan still gives you the ability to link all of your external bank accounts, credit cards, investment accounts, and create a monthly budget. As part of linking those external accounts, you're able to set up balance alerts, so if your account falls below a safe balance number that you you get to set, you'll get a notification on your phone. And you'll unlock spend tracking, which analyzes all of those accounts that you have linked and will make spending suggestions, plus free credit score monitoring as well. Now, one of the most unique features about Rocket Money is the subscription management feature, which uses a fancy algorithm written by people that are way smarter than me that will analyze your recurring subscriptions and bills so that you don't lose track of any of them. And this is also included with the free plan, which I love. You're also able to use the bill negotiation feature with the free account, which is really what put Rocket Money on the map. But do keep in mind that regardless of whether you have the free or paid accounts, this feature will cost you 30 to 60% of the amount that Rocket Money is able to save you. Personally, I don't really mind that because without any upfront cost to you and without you having to do anything, they're going to go out and work to save you money on your behalf. And all you have to do is give them a piece of the action if they do end up saving you money. So if they save you a hundred bucks, then yeah, you might have to pay them $40 for example, but you're still coming out $60 ahead and you didn't have to do anything. All right, that brings us to the premium plan, which comes with the priority bill negotiation feature, the subscription cancellation assistant, which allows Rocket Money to cancel unused subscriptions on your behalf with just one click. And if you've ever spent hours on hold trying to get through to a human just to cancel a subscription, Comcast, I'm looking at you. Who, me? then I'm guessing you see the value in not having to do that yourself. You also get access to a real human expert to help you best use all of these features, access to additional Rocket Money accounts, including their smart savings tool and the Rocket Signature Card, plus a ton of other stuff like net worth tracking and shared accounts, which is nice for couples. I'll show you the core budgeting features in the app in a second, but I'll tell you now that it does a lot more than just tracking your linked accounts because Let's be honest, a lot of things can do that these days. But what I love about Rocket Money specifically, especially if you wouldn't consider yourself to be financially savvy, is they're going to give you spending insights that will identify areas where you can adjust your spending habits and their smart savings tool allows you to put your savings on autopilot, which if you know me, then you know that I am a huge fan of putting anything and everything on autopilot. Clearly, Premium gives you several additional features over the free plan. So you may be wondering how much is it going to cost you? Well, just like Rocket Money's features, their pricing model is also pretty unique. They've adopted a pay what you want model, and while you can get the free account like we just talked about, the premium plan is a sliding scale of either $4 to $12 per month or $48 to $60 if you pay annually, and you get to decide how much you're willing to pay using a simple sliding scale right within the app. But regardless of what you decide on within that range, it does make Rocket Money one of the more affordable budgeting apps out there since some of their competitors cost upwards of $100 per year or more. And remember that unique bill negotiation feature that we talked about earlier, yes, they are going to take a percentage cut of the amount that they can save you, but the rest of that money that is saved by lowering your bills could very easily pay for the premium subscription on its own. And I personally have never seen a bill negotiation feature from any other budgeting platform that I've used. All right, talking about the core features is one thing, but as promised, let's hop inside my Rocket Money account to see what it actually looks like. 
By no means is this meant to be a full-blown demo that could probably be its own video, but when you first download the app, they're going to ask you a few basic questions to get a baseline of what your financial goals are. You'll then simply enter your name and email address, and in my case, I'll simply log into my existing account. I did my best to completely clear out and reset my account, so yours should look pretty similar to this if you're just logging in for the first time. So the first thing we're gonna do is click on the connect my account button and using the plaid system, which is kind of the industry standard for this sort of thing at this point, you're able to securely link any of those external financial accounts. For simplicity, I'll just link my main bank account, but again, you can link all kinds of different financial accounts in here. And as soon as we link that account, Rocket Money is going to start analyzing our spending data and will offer spending insights based on their findings. While we wait for that data to sync, if we scroll down, you'll see a summary of all of your different accounts. We can activate credit score monitoring and get started with lowering our bills by linking our various service providers. On the spending tab, you'll see our spending insights, including our monthly income and expenses, which no matter what budgeting app or method you are using, those are really the two most important factors. We can view all of our bills and subscriptions right under this one screen, including a calendar that shows us when each bill is due, which I personally love. And we can get a quick summary of all of the transactions across the various accounts that we have linked to Rocket Money with the ability to directly download it to a spreadsheet by clicking this button in the top right corner. And lastly, all the way on the right hand side is where you're able to activate the premium features, which again includes the subscription cancellation assistant, smart savings tools, customizable budgets, automated net worth tracking, and as we discussed earlier, this is where you'll select how much you are willing to pay for that premium service. Again, I could probably make an entirely separate video doing a full-blown demo of the Rocket Money app, but as someone who has used a lot of budgeting apps over the years, I do find the overall design of the Rocket Money app to be fairly clean and easy to learn. My wife and I were both able to learn the platform quickly and get on the same page with our finances, and compared to platforms that we've used in the past like YNAB, which often packs way too much information onto a tiny screen, I think you'll find that Rocket Money is much much more simple and easy to learn. And really it's the focus on giving you spending insights and of course reducing your bills that really sets Rocket Money apart. I've also found that unlike some other apps that I've used, you can get by perfectly fine just using the free Rocket Money accounts. Are the premium features worth the upgrade? Probably for most individuals, but I appreciate that they are not withholding any core functionality and allow users to take control of their finances even if they aren't able to upgrade to the premium plan right now. So at the end of the day, if you're looking for a clean and easy to learn budgeting app that focuses on improving your spending habits, which includes getting rid of those unused subscriptions, then you will be hard pressed to find a better option than Rocket Money. Again, if you wanna learn more, I'll leave a link for that down in the description, but let me know what you think of Rocket Money and how much you have saved using their bill negotiation feature and subscription cancellation tool. Until next time, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.